What? All right, what's going on, New Gaming Order? We back. I'm not going to say Alex's quote, because that's his. Like the drug I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> I meet you, Alex. You're <laughs> All right, so we're, we're going into our last and final topic of the night for the podcast, and then we'll go right into our PSAs. But uh, apparently, Alex has uh, posted something on the New Gaming Order fan page Why about... Why because you're the one that you was the one that put it up. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> And the topic is, why are people buying more PlayStation 4s and not Xbox One? I wonder because we spoke about this more than one time on several <laughs> different podcasts, and I think we understand why. Well, but, are, you sh- are you sure, Nelson? I don't remember ever talking about that before. Oh, we, 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 we. Chris wasn't on those. So, no, no, I'm pretty sure I was on a few of those. Yo, ones. he was. Chris, Chris was on like more than four of them. <laughs> but um, apparently, uh, Sony is giving like little jabs at people, trying to endorse of like what um, key features, as I would say, that they will have to influence your decision on buying to their console. So I'll name a couple here from the owners, which they are influencing by, is from the consumers of thirteen and above. And here's one of them. Better resolution. Does a 13 you know about what 1080p is? I don't think so. <laughs> I can't even see the difference. Their little eyes. Like, uh... Blu-ray player. They both got blue. No, no, no. Wait, hold on. Does a 13-year-old know what the difference between a Blu-ray player is? Or did you get born into that era? And that's all you know. Mommy, look it. That's it's another like, one. Oh yeah, I got a VHS player because it plays VHS. Did, did a what? Year old ever handle physical media? <laughs> <laughs> right? And then and let's see the Dude, third. I remember, I remember VHS tapes, son. I, I have <laughs> yo. <laughs> where where is it? I still I still have the original ET on a VHS. Yo, see. Oh my God. No. <laughs> and, and I guess like next time when we do a podcast, I'm gonna show you the original purple VHS tape of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo instructional video that I still have from the fucking 80s. That's for later. Nelson, Nelson, we, we, we trying to be hip, man. Listen, I, I, I like making us look old, man. Nelson, keep going. Don't listen to Alex. Uh, <laughs> okay, third item. Game library. What? Well... What? What? You know, what? what? This is coming from the Sony PlayStation 4 top top reasons why, and the game library they do have their PS3 backwards compatible. But we're talking about PlayStation 4, not PlayStation 3, not PlayStation 2, 4. So you guys got a game library? Okay, fan fucking tastic. All right, number four, faster processing power. Hey son, um, do you know what a 3.9 gigahertz processor is? Huh? Kids are smarter these days, though. You know what I mean? Like they they they're they're doing things that uh. Yeah, hey. World star. And get <laughs> this, get their last top, get their last item. What family wants? I, you know, I disagree with that one. I disagree with that one. Um, I believe. Oh. The Wii, N- Nintendo brand, Nintendo brand is more family oriented, so I don't know why that was even in there. Now, before I start giving people the floor, I'm gonna name the Xbox One side of things. Apparently, I find it funny that the Wii U is irrelevant in this article, but they do mention that too. But for the sake of time, we'll just mention the Xbox One side. Number one, brand. Number two, innovative brand loyalty, right? Mm, well, it just says brand. I don't know about brand loyalty. But yeah, because I had read somewhere, like, in the, um, what was that, in another article, that's what, you know, Xbox people who adopted Xbox generally stay with them. Oh, okay. So, number two, innovative features. That's another one. Number three, faster processing power. So, same shit. Okay. Exclusive game slash content. He has the GameCube controller. <laughs> and five, and the last item, fun factor. And he has the Wii U gamepad. This guy. So, and then, and then, alright, I'll name the Wii U. Might as well, because I'm going through it fast. Number one for the Wii U, fun factor. Two, better for kids. Which is true. Three, price value. Number four, backwards compatibility. And five, exclusive game slash content. Which is true also. So, 
you're telling me, based on this article that I'm seeing here from VG247.com, that Sony is reeling in their audiences from 13 and older by better resolution, a Blu-ray player, which an Xbox One has, a game library, which an Xbox One and the Wii U has, faster processing power, which the Xbox One does have, not the Wii U, and what a family wants, <coughs> bullshit. Because the Xbox, the Xbox One's an all-in-one purpose console. Sony has yet to get to that standpoint. Now, here's the thing. You know, the thing on the merit alone, the one thing that only stood out in that uh, list, Nelson, better resolution. Unless you have a huge TV, you're not going to see the freaking difference. And even then, the resolution differences are just minor, aren't they? Yeah, they're very, very minor. Like, all right, um, as an example, which is funny because I'm bringing back a history lesson. Michael Hurdle, of all fucking people, taught me about resolution, all right? <laughs> 720p is meant for gaming. 1080i is meant for television. And 1080p is just to stretch the image on a wider screen or a bigger screen to see that resolution. But people don't see that. People see, oh, it's a bigger fucking number? That's better. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know... Mm. Give me 480p games to play at 60 frames instead of 30, I'll be happy. Yeah, dude! <laughs> dude! Performance, performance over prettiness? Is that what you're saying? Dude, no, I agree with On Your Knees because there was um, a streamer that I was watching the other day and he was like, guys, you can't live in this time and only think about graphics it more boils down to the quality and how the game is presented to you not oh oh my god it's 1080p if it's not 1080p i'm not buying this fucking shit blah 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 <laughs> huh but uh, you know what fanboys are gonna be fanboys you know and you got them in every camp you know but at the end of the day we are all gamers it's it, it, you know it, 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 it's like a childish thing, like oh, better resolution. Like, is that the only reason why somebody pick up a PS4 over the other two consoles? But it's just, uh, it's just saddening. I just, saddening. I, I, I don't know why the number one answer should be it was cheaper. That should be the number one answer on this list, and they completely missed it. So. Yeah, and it's not gonna make a difference if you're trying to block a move or you're still getting your ass beat. And again. So, and and again, before I give the floor to Shinwar, then Takuma, then uh, Arnyanese, and Alex, there's no display resolution on the fucking Xbox One game. <laughs> we don't promote resolution. We promote exactly what it is, an all-in-one console. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, why now... Why <laughs> now I'ma get the damn PS4 game. We got we got motherfucking uh, guilty get excerpt and and big ass bold fucking output on the bottom corner right here. Output resolution 1080p. You know what, Nelson? Let, let, before we give Jim the floor. Sega was guilty of that same thing, blast processing, which was nothing more than propaganda. But when, same thing as uh, Nintendo at the time back then. You know what I mean? Like when the, the, the Genesis came out, blast processing. You see Sonic going, yeah, it, it blast process, whatever. You know, I, I, you know what, what I mean? What I want people to do when you guys do see this on YouTube, and I am not trying to be like a, a factual thing, but let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if Dreamcast Disc featured the resolution on the back of their disc or not. Let me know in the comment section below because I don't remember them doing that. And that was the era where they wanted to stop. And Sony was like, nah, we ain't stopping for shit. We're going to keep promoting this in PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and now you know 4. What? It, 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 the gamers have become superficial. It's like, oh, yeah, better resolution. And then the games may look well, like it, it, it's not like really or be disappointment. It's not well, really at the, the, end of the game. The game is just a game. It can be fun on PlayStation, whether it's 1080p or whatever, Xbox oh 900p or whatever, and then and the, the Wii U. Like the, to me, that 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 number one on that list that I'm looking at better resolution. 
Unless you have the technology, man. God. Yeah, damn. but you have to blame the company, and you also have to blame like the distributors, like Samsung, Sony, that promote like, oh, crystal water clear, 1080p high resolution, LED, blah and blah blah. Like, oh, ooh, yes. <laughs> like doing like like Paul Bear with the urn. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah see. Oh, okay. Bring him up, Alex. He's dead. But now let me shut. <laughs> it's out of respect. But now let me shut up. Shinwar, what are your thoughts about this uh, PS4 supposedly outselling the Xbox One due to these little lists here? Uh, I thought we went over this. Like, we did. Mad podcast. Alex suggested we did. We're going over it again. No, because uh, it, it came up. It came up. It, it, it was. It was. It was a hot item that I saw, and I put it on the page. It, it's new, so I'm Steve just like. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would definitely say the the number one reason, and Chris did say it's price because we all seen what happened when Microsoft did that price drop, and, and then the they start selling more. Yeah, them Xboxes were flying off the shelf. You know, it'd be good honestly if they did that price cut to the uh, to the Connect version instead of the Connect list version. I think um, they'll push more. If they did, but it would, but not a lot of people is gonna buy the Connect even still because people yeah. still believe that you're getting watched. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, 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 <laughs> don't buy a laptop because they come built in with web cameras. Yeah, but you know what people do? Up. But people buy those and they'll put tape over the. Yup, they'll put a piece that's like put sticky tape. tape. Yeah. yeah. Yep, right but over the camera. Speaking of that, hold on. Speaking of that, like usually for some reason, I'm not messing my control. My Xbox One. My, it would just mysteriously come off for no reason. I'm like, oh no, because of that LED sensor built into the controller, it picks up for like your movement as but well. But my controller, I'm not even like with my controller. I'm, I'm not, I put my controller down, everything else. I'm watching TV. Next thing, my Xbox come on. I'm looking at my Xbox like, why are you watching me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's like, uh, but the, the, just to throw this in there. Uh, Samsung put in their terms of service for their, in the UK for their smart TVs. Third uh, parties will listen to your recordings, so don't talk about your important information <laughs> like banking info. That's very <laughs> true. That's... So I'm not sure if we mentioned that or if I, I brought it up or uh, Garvin did, but uh, that was a hot thing <laughs> of, what, a couple weeks ago. Um, so that's why uh, people are a little paranoid, I think they're right to be so, and also with the cameras and the laptops, you have, uh, there was, a, I think, a Miss America uh, contestant whose computer was hacked and she was blackmailed because they got nude photos for her because she changed the front of the laptop. Yeah. Unbelievable. So you gotta watch out for that shit too He's with the building up. cameras. So let me let me be the fear monger here and I'll uh, put that out. Cue up Dean, <laughs> Dean Ambrose <laughs> theme music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, now quickly, uh, Shinwa, are you done or? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, so Takuma, what are your thoughts about this let PlayStation me, 4 <laughs> list? Let me get this straight. PlayStation 4 is telling you that they have they give you the, the whole concept of the game. It's better if you play it in 1080p, P, whatever. I'm sorry. 1080p versus 720. Yeah, 1080p versus 720. Uh-huh. Is that really going to enhance your gameplay when you pick up the game? No. No, <laughs> not really, to be honest. Uh, and you need to have the TV that's going to take benefit of it. Like, unless you have a huge TV, you're not going to notice nothing. Exactly. It's not going to make the game any better than it already is. You is, you're not you're not benefiting from you play some better resolution. You can you see me to tell me if I pick up Call of Duty, which I don't play, and if I play in this resolution, is it gonna save me from getting shot from somebody around the corner, or I can be able to see the grenade coming at me? Really? Come on, man. <laughs> I, I, I I think I think um, you know the the the, fo the consumers using technology you have to smarten up a little bit, you know, and it's a lot of the young, immature fanboys who. <laughs> Are encouraging the flame wars between you know uh, different camps. You mean to tell me your own human eyes can tell the difference of colors of shades and whatever? No, no. Was, some some people. This is like Takuma. Believe it or not, there was a time. Take your damn remote and be like, okay, bright five, six, seven. No, no, but, but, but uh, Takuma dead, dead ass. There, there was a store called BDS Software. Shinwar knows of this place, and there was a guy. I've never that, heard of this place. Oh, is this the place I heard rumors about? You took me two months long ago. Yeah, but okay. that place. All right, I know this, that place. This man could not tell the difference between 30 frames a second and 60 frames. <laughs> I'm like, dude, look at the screen. Like, you, you can tell the difference. I'm like, yeah, 
if you look at it like closely you'll see that it moves smoother some people can train their eyes to see stuff but exactly if, if everybody was like that that individual who was a fucking idiot by the way he <laughs> w- uh, like um, you know couldn't tell the difference like he was just he owned the store he saw the stuff s- sold the stuff you know what I mean but couldn't tell the difference <laughs> So th- that means that you know some people are just talking out their ass, and it's just like a Cowboys fan versus a Green Bay fan, and they're just gonna be blind fanboys over stuff. You it's know, just like people, podcasts, YouTube watchers. It doesn't make a difference what your resolution is, as far as if you got a big screen TV that's playing 1080 or 720, wherever you play the game. Trust me, I tell you, whatever they put on there, it's not gonna make a difference. So. Just play the game. Seriously, don't buy to this whole. If you got a big screen TV that does that, by all means, God enjoy bless you. Enjoy it. Everything, enjoy it. But if you don't, then freaking don't be like, oh, well, I'm not gonna buy the game because if I don't have a certain resolution, it's not gonna play well. Don't believe in that hype. I'm not downgrading PS4. I'm still in the process of getting one. But don't don't get yourself lost in this whole thing. And for them 13 year old boys who freaking don't know, like. You need my sister's editing yours, <laughs> and also, and also to to comment on this. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this shit before, but you know certain game companies that are at fault to this. If you put a certain game to its capacity, like let's say I'll give you an example. Okay, remember Shadow of the Colossus back for the PlayStation Two when it got released with Ico. Mm-hmm. That so remember the game Shadow of the Colossus for the PlayStation Two? You know, like you yeah, know, the little guy fighting the giants and stuff like that. You know, the game was intended originally for sixty frames per second. You want to know why it's not? Mm. Because they increased the resolution size so fucking much to what so, to, so it couldn't keep up and it downscaled the frame rate by a shit ton. But that's, that's happening with Uncharted, though. That's, that's happening with, with a lot of games. Yeah. And because that's on PS4. Yeah, but the thing is, that's the reason why I tell you guys, you worry so much about resolution and graphics. Worry this about is this is the reason why some of your games is like, what? They, they, they're releasing a AAA title, but it's only locked in at 30 frames, but at 1080p. And you wonder why. <laughs> Look on your a, face. <laughs> get a PC. You typically don't have these problems. Yeah. Amen. All right. So, so uh, Chris, um, give your views on this topic, and then um, we'll give it to Alex to take let it home. Me see, um, I don't have a big pile of bullshit to throw at the camera because this is what all this all is. <laughs> uh, I, I could throw a bunch of bullshit said, at the I camera. Said, you know, these answers might be legit, but it just shows you how clueless the uh, the people that uh, either buy the games or the people who respond to the feedbacks. Uh, this was Nielsen, right? Uh, Nielsen did this? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Nielsen, um, I know because they sent me a letter once for TV. In the letter, they'll actually send the dollar. Uh, I don't know mm-hmm. if they pay you after you fill out the thing, but I, I sure kept my shiny brand new dollar, and uh, I have no idea what I did with it because you can't buy anything for dollar these days. One dollar! But, um, mm-hmm. yeah, so this, the only one that's accurate is probably the, the Wii U, uh, to be honest here. Uh, all those points are, seem spot on for it, but the other ones, uh, maybe the brand, especially if it's brand loyalty, or the fact that Xbox is this cool, hip thing uh, that gets uh, quote-unquote mainstream people to buy the game, the game console, which is probably why you get a lot more watered-down shit, at least from AAA manufacturers these days. Uh, but I wouldn't put too much stock in this list. I'm going to go with what I said before. The reason why it sold so much more was that it's $200 cheaper than the PS3. You know, retails for $399 US dollars, not $599, like, as Alex likes to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. $599 US dollars. Rage Racer. What about Wait, those giant enemy crabs, Alex? You got to watch out for those two. I'm scared of crabs. Enemy crabs. <laughs> Well, what do you, what do you do what do you do when you catch them from all your lady friends that you have? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Unbelievable. <laughs> 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 Alex, put your camera back on. Put your camera back on. Yeah, you didn't see that. You didn't see that video when they all <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Come on, Alex. We got a podcast. Let's go. <laughs> New 
gaming order. I have officially resigned. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Cut this shit right, out. But let's bring this to a close. Yes. I'm gonna try to catch the tail end of SmackDown, man. But you can watch it on Hulu. I don't have Hulu. You got the internet. No. <laughs> Alright, but new gaming order. Um, PSA tomorrow. Um, Nelson, myself, and whomever on the staff wants to be a part of it, we're going to do a feature at for Street Fighter Five character wish list. Uh, there's a lot of videos going around, and I just wanted to uh, weigh in with the team. Uh, and you know, I don't, I didn't want to pull anybody in into it without being prepared so uh, that's the PSA you check that out it, it's gonna go down tomorrow um, you know if you are checking us out live or want to be a part of that you know uh, contact me or Nelson uh, I would like to have uh, Michael Hurdle uh, in on that if he had some time of 15 minutes to chat with us but uh, yeah so look out for that Nelson huh uh, we're probably gonna do it around the same time, seven or eight. All oh, right, the the PSAs. Uh, I almost uh, laughs out of that. Okay, as what Alex brought to my attention about this um, Mortal Kombat X thing that you don't require Xbox Live or PlayStation Network to be able to play with your friends online and stuff like that. Apparently, that was a uh, misled information to the the producers part which I kind of find fucked up because good. why would you say those things and you're like the lead producer people's gonna trust your word for it so apparently you do need a subscription for both uh, Sony and Microsoft to be able to play Mortal Kombat 10 there's no free to play model apparently so that's sadly the fucked up thing um Another PSA announcement that um, if you guys haven't heard already, if you're watching EVO 2015 for um, Ultra Street Fighter 4, it will now be played on the PlayStation 4 due to um, Sony's exclusive deal with Capcom. So they're going in with the times, apparently. And for all you tournament players, you need to now buy a PlayStation 4 arcade stick. So that sucks. Or get a Kronos Max. Or, allowed. But but they will not allow the Kronos Max. There are other peripherals that they can use that will do the same exact purpose. But it would just then be... Why, why ban it, though? Because the Kronos Max has massive delay. And also, it was said to report that the second player will also get, like, desync controls or their buttons will be mapped completely random. I haven't had that problem since I got it. No, no, no. See, with one player, you're fine. Two players, no. Hmm, that's strange because it's supposed to take the bin file from the. It's one. supposed to take the bin file from the very first controller port, but if you haven't noticed, when it's uh, splitting the bin file direct port from the thing, it's also messing up with the internal controller plugin for the other player. So if I was to plug in my arcade stick and play against you, my shit may get fucked up. Well, I got I gotta test that out then. All right, cool. that's a that's a that's another uh, PSA thing. Um, also, if you guys haven't already heard. Xenoverse is out, and it's out as officially in about another three hours for the 360, PlayStation 3, and Steam. So you guys can pick it up if you're on the previous gen console, if you have an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4, it's out now. You can join the crew at any time when we stream on either multi-twitch or just individually. You can come join us, it's an online game, more than welcome to come and uh, hang out with us with that. Um, any other announcements? Ah, go to NewGamingOrder.com. It has been going under some serious uh, changes over the last couple of days. And we're investing more and more. So if you would like to, you know, how would you say? If you'd like to affiliate yourself with New Gaming Order, probably advertise your stuff on the website. Give us some feedback of what we could do to better it and stuff like that. You can just contact us directly through YouTube or through our personal email in the description below and we'll further, you know, report back to you guys. We also have a contact page. Same <clears throat> thing. Works the same way. And, yeah, I guess that's it. And one last thing. Goken and uh, On Your Knees, they may be developing a new segment strictly for PC stuff so our PC folks will get their fix. So, you know, you can tap your arm once they're done. And right. um, Michael Hurdle just said that. Just let him know what time. Okay. Yeah, around seven, qu quarter to eight. 
Okay. But I mean, just like hit him up like ahead of time, like so he remembers. Okay, not a problem. Mm -hmm. So, anything for the good of the group? Um, We're I'll good. Doing, I'll be doing um, another Hearthstone stream tomorrow night. Um, after you guys are done, probably around nine again. Um, I will probably also do another game. I haven't picked out yet um, because I do expect the bomb out rather fast with that, just like I did uh, last <laughs> week. I uh, bombed out super fast. Um, the first deck, the second deck's doing much better, but. Um, if I bomb out, I might do Shadow Run. Uh, I might also do. Uh, I have a couple other games to pick from that I might do, and also um, Xenoblade Chronicles X, the sequel to Xenoblade on the Wii U, has a Japanese release date. I think that news is a bit old for the end of April. No U.S. date as of yet, but that game's going to be great. It's the reason why I got the Wii U. Um, so when that's Not for Bayonetta. Up, well, I, I have both of them, but I still I was playing through awesome. the first one. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I got a discount for buying both together. It only cost me 40 bucks for both games. Oh, nice. So if you get the Wii U, I'm not sure if they're still having it, but you get a discount for buying both. Yep. Granted, they're, they're digital, and not, I, I prefer to have the copies of the disc, but for a discount, I can't complain, and that's why I like buying downloads. Um, other than that, um, I got nothing else. All right. Oh, actually, um, there is a, we mentioned this last week. Uh, there is now a class action lawsuit in the works against Lenovo for the Superfish. So if you have on the Lenovo laptop, I'm not sure what dates to look for it if, of when you purchased it, but you have a chance to get a free uh, cash uh, a cash in because I'm sure they're going to settle out mm -hmm. and then everyone will get, you know, 50 bucks or whatever. So It uh, turns yeah. out I have a Lenovo downstairs. Yeah, <laughs> so when um when they do the, um, you should check into that and then see if you can get in on it and, you know, get yourself a little action for almost no work. Okay, no problem. All right, so are we good to go, guys? Um, one last note, I know I had a, um, a few subscribers to my channel, so thank you for subscribing. I haven't put um, some videos out there for my Gotham files, or me playing Ultra Street Fighter 4 using Guy. But I am going to do that. Also, I'm going to try live streaming. This will be my first time doing it. I set up my Twitch channel, so just, you know, hit me up. If you want to laugh and giggle about some Street Fighter, I'll take a different perspective. Hit on my channel. Other than that, that's all I got. All right. It's, oh, I'm sorry. It's, um... Shadow Step 77. We'll put that in the description link just in case. Oh. All right. Alrighty. And then, the silent Shinwar, nothing? We're good? Nope. Nobody. Nothing. Nobody All right. So, seeing it up. All right. So, new game in order. I'm probably going to join Shinwar in some Xenoverse. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Are you guys going to be streaming? I'm, no, I'm about to get off. No, I'm just going to play a little bit because uh, i got to get up tomorrow. Okay, so I will be streaming either Xenoverse because I just bought the game or I might do a little bit of Street Fighter 4 since I haven't done it in a while. But we will like to get all of um, our members caught up to date with the Twitch and whatnot. Right now, the only person that we need is just on your knees to make his own Twitch uh, page, you know, soon, whenever he gets that done. Um, you're more than welcome to make your own too, um, Takuma. Okay. To, to be a part of the, the stream board. Gotta, yeah, I think I hooked it up. I just got to do some more, some to it. But I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll fix it up. All, all right. We'll, we'll so we'll, we'll get all that orchestrated. So, all right, Alex, you can continue right. what you was doing. So, new gaming order fans, YouTubers, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for supporting us. Check us out on newgamingorder.com. New, 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 newgamingorder.com. And we'll see you next week, same time, same Twitch channel. Peace. Take it easy. All right.